Hola, amigo. Hola. Tú eres un buen worker? Sí, yo muy bueno worker. Y el acento, uh, ¿dónde are you from? Scranton. Y before that, la Philadelphia. You speak English? Yes, I'm really good at English. Okay, good, me too. Get in the car. Man, look at that. Yeah. There's no building. <laughs> This can only mean one thing. Building's underground. She was lying. Oh. Pam, 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 Pam. Yeah? Pam? What? I'm Pam. Oh, no you're not. I wasn't here. What? I wasn't here. It's a pretty common saying. You may want to log it away for future use. Also, FYI, uh, I don't technically have a hearing problem, but sometimes when there's a lot of noises occurring uh, at the same time, I'll hear them as one big jumble. Uh, again, it's not that I can't hear, uh, because that's false, I can. Um, I just can't distinguish between everything I'm hearing. And you hired Glenn, your buddy, to replace you in the warehouse. He was underqualified. They saw that. Also, Daryl, FYI, I already told this to Andy, but uh, you should probably know, I technically don't have a hearing problem. It's just when there's a lot of noises. Nate, no please. And I'd be happy to give you business classes. How come you haven't asked me about it? What was, what was the last? I'm having... No, no part of this has anything to do with you. Isn't that just for popsicles? Popsicles? Yeah, like upstairs people, because you got to stick up your butt. Ah, see, I, I thought it was because they're all so rich, they could eat popsicles all the time. Cookies, smoke fish, alcohol, people acting stupid. You had me at cookies. I can't wait to find out what they are. Oh, it's nice. It's real nice. People get dressed up. I will look so handsome for you, Daryl. Recuerdo muy bien al señor Toby. Él fue un cliente muy bueno. I'm, I'm going to say I when I'm talking for Ernesto. Uh, so instead of he says blah, 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 I'm going to say I say blah, blah, blah. But that's for him. Uh, anyway, it was something like uh, he remembers Toby. I remember Toby. Ask him if he remembers Jim. Conoce el Jaime? No. He says no. He says no. <laughs> like sweatpants for my head. I love it too, Val. It's, it's really itchy, uh, but to be fair, my head is constantly itching, so I can't really pig it on the, on the hat. This is a gift for a man Nate here. Can I open it? No, 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 maybe just later. Uh, I can't wait, I'm sorry. I'm too excited. Daryl. Wow, those are really nice. They're so elegant. Cashmere. How'd you know? I'm glad you're in my life. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, Daryl. I am glad to be in your life, too. I felt really terrible that you got me these lovely gloves and I didn't get you anything. I haven't really had time to go out and buy you anything, but uh, here goes. This coupon entitles you to one free Tickle Monster attack. Yeah, they're Nate coupons, or Nate Pons, and they're all different. Cash that one in and I will bring you a stick of gum anytime, any place. I'll find you. Man, you're insane right now. Robbie's the whole package. I've never met Robbie personally, but I'm gonna go ahead and say, just having knowing you a short while, Brian, that I prefer Robbie. And again, I've never even met the guy. So how'd you guys hear about the position? My, my mom, Dwight called my house, but he didn't realize that I had already moved out because my mom and I are quarreling because I, I can't stay out of her stuff. Nate. He's a proven entity, but not without his handicaps. Hearing, vision, basic cognition. Nate, your mother is dying. I know a lot of these warehouse guys are your friends, but we've got chewing gum. Gum's gotten mintier lately, have you noticed? Like, some of it's just too minty. It's like they're literally trying to hurt you. Tell us who defaced the mural. He did it. All right. You can go, give him his gum. There's no gum, there never was any gum. <laughs> It's really rude.